King's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Deberson, Classical Main Line. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. The e5 pawn is supported by d6 and the bishop on light squares can advance. In nf3, the pawn on e5 is attacked, the knight advances toward the center, and the d4 square is under control. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This protects the attacked pawn. G3 prepares to fianchetto the f1 bishop. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is a fair deal after all captures. Backs off. Games master. It is the final book action. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This exposes a knight assault. It is ideal. This threatens to kick a knight. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. That knight will get material if captured. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to pin a knight. It is a mistake. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It falls flat. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses an opportunity to capture a vulnerable knight. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is an inaccuracy. This removes the attacking knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to win material. It is best. There is a better way to get a bishop to safety than this. It is incorrect. It falls flat. Very precise. It is best. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This moves the rook to safety. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. A solid choice. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.